Thing. Order! Order! You are an incorrigible delinquent at times. <laughs> Behave yourself, man! Our reporter, Greg Dawson, has it in his contract that we play that whenever he appears or I sing it. Um, he's here to tell us about the other Galileo. It's the EU satellite navigation system and it's the cause of a big Brexit bust-up. Why? Well, Galileo is essentially the European equivalent of the U US GPS navigation system. Now, since its inception in 2003, the UK has been front and centre. It's developed a lot of the satellites for the system, which is set to be a lot more advanced and accurate than GPS. £1 billion of UK taxpayer money has gone into it, and so I think the UK government were rather hoping that Brexit wouldn't have affected its future participation, but that has not gone to plan. Right. Was that naive, do you think, bearing in mind Brexit does seem to seep into all aspects um, of policy? And, and does the EU have a point with saying, well, the UK is leaving and therefore cannot be part of the sort of inner circle discussions? Well, the, the EU's argument is that it, it comes down to the key encrypted information that Galileo will provide, which could assist future military operations. Now, the UK still wants to maintain that access for security reasons, and the EU, EU is arguing, well, look, you're going to be a third party. Why should you have access to the 27 member states' information? Now, subsequent to that and this standoff, there was a delegate, delegation at the European Space Agency yesterday that approved the procurement for new satellites to be built. And as a result, UK firms have been locked out of that process. So where do we go from here then? Well, the government is obviously very unhappy. They're st still hoping that this can be mended, but they are now accusing the EU of a lack of goodwill and effectively using Galileo as a negotiating tactic. Right. So is that where it stands now, that actually Galileo is a proxy for the broader Brexit debate? I think it's being interpreted as a row about something much more than satellites and navigation systems. The, the issue of defence and security in the Brexit negotiations, I think for many were seen as a given that there would be cooperation. Mm. And this has highlighted that it's not going as smoothly as anticipated. Right. Is that a surprise, Paul? Because I, I seem to remember Theresa May early on, I can't remember the precise date or speech, did allude at one point that, that maybe security and cooperation might be on the table. Now, there was a bit of rowing back from that. Well, you know, it, from the very beginning, we were being told by people on the inside that Britain would basically say, you don't want to lose GCHQ and you don't want to lose Britain's mm. military contribution mm. to the defence of Europe, do you? And that would be that. No, in public, the government has always said it's not. It's, we're not trying to use this as a negotiation. But this, read it. It's the Europeans playing back, saying, "Well, the, uh, insofar as you keep threatening to pull security cooperation, we can threaten to pull Galileo." And I'm sorry, it is a terrible position to be in. Not only because for both sides, we, though, we, surely. We, yes, absolutely. But British soft power should be going to Italy right now. The Italians have got a lot of access to grind against Brussels. We should be talking to the Italians and saying, "Okay, come on, let's do a deal." You know, I'm. I'm Sorry to say, like, um, I mean, if Boris Johnson wants to drag Donald Trump's negotiating um, tactics in, drag him into that. Let's do some deals with Europe. Instead, we're helpless. We're helpless because the government is weak. Downside of Brexit? No, not remotely. And again, I mean, this is the European Union saying, oh, you know, we're taking our ball and we're going home. It's absolutely ridiculous. And I do find it extraordinary. The Remainers will genuinely, if the EU says something like this, they go, see, we told you Brexit was bad. If the, if the government says it, they say, they say, well, that's an awful thing for you to say. Mm. But the reality is we don't cooperate on, on security and military and intelligence and, and all of these other issues uh, with other European countries because we're in the EU. We cooperate because we are part of Europe. We share the same democratic values. At least I thought we did. Um, so, you know, the, the, these, these things are all going to go ahead. I mean, there was one warning at one point we weren't going to be involved in CERN. That's in Switzerland. It's not even in the EU at one point. Of course this is going to carry on. This is just a lot of uh, hot air for right. the EU. Greg, thanks for coming in. Um, shame we're not playing Galileo at the end, isn't it? As well, every time you <laughs> come on. But anyway, for next time. Yeah. No, well, off you go then. Galileo. Leo Galileo. <laughs> oh, it's all gone really shy now, haven't we? Yeah. Thanks for coming. We're talking good game. We're talking good game. <laughs> yeah, cool, your bluff.